Hi, I'm Jeremiah and welcome back to my workshop. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made this custom adjustable mount for a center channel speaker. Check it out. So a friend of mine reached out recently and asked if I could build a bracket for his center channel speaker in his movie room. Now he wants to hang this speaker up in the air. Now these are typically used on bookshelves or different things like below the TV, but because he has a big you know, projector screen and you know this is more of like a movie experience, he wants it kind of up. He did a lot of research, couldn't find a bracket that he wanted, and so he reached out to me to see if I could do something custom for him. So I've been kind of noodling the idea, and I think I found a, a design that both he likes and I like. So I used Shaper 3D on my iPad just to kind of mock up the basic idea. This box here is the, the screen that he's suspended from the ceiling, and then he wants to mount to the top the speaker, and then be able to pivot it down to kind of dial in the correct angle. Should be fun, let's get going. The first step is to measure and figure out the correct dimensions. Then I mark my cuts on the stock and cut the pieces to length on my wall mounted portable bandsaw. I used my disc sander to square up the edges. I cut out a relief to allow for the mount to rotate, and then rounded over the edges on my disc sander. That's some impressive sparks. So I've got some of the parts cut out. This is the part that will let it rotate. Um, so this will hang over the box, like so. And be mounted like that. And then I've got these that are part of the bracket. These will have a hole in it. And these will do the rotating. I drill the mounting and rotational holes on my drill press. I'm using Tap Magic as coolant here. It's a little too gummy and I don't actually like using it, but it's all I had on hand. Once all the holes were drilled, I used my grinder to remove the mill scale from the steel in preparation for welding. I've got everything cleaned up and just about ready for weld, but I have another problem. I have this bar that's going to set right here. It's gonna cover up some of the speaker and I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna cut a pattern out of some craft paper and then figure out kind of the best place to give me some like round cutouts for these speakers and then this hole here and here. So that's the next task. This part of the design was my favorite because I could really be creative with the look of the mount. I needed to clear the holes, but I had some liberty in how to do it. I sketched out half of the pattern and then folded it in half to ensure it was perfectly symmetrical. Then I made my cuts and transferred the pattern to my steel piece. Cutting this design out on the bandsaw was really fun. I want to do more of this kind of work. The belt sander made it really easy to clean up the edges. I cleaned up the square corners with a file and with that everything was ready to weld. I tack welded the corners before laying a full bead. I'm glad I did because once I got to the final corner, I noticed the front piece had warped and it was not laying flat. So my solution was to heat it up with a torch and hit it with a hammer until it was right. And that did the trick. I really love MIG welding. I'm so glad I got into it. It just opens up a whole new realm of possibilities of making things. 
Here I am mocking up the additional design features out of foam core. The client was concerned about making the mount earthquake proof, as he lives in California. I sent this video to the client and got his approval before moving forward. Once I got his blessing, I made the final pieces. And here's the final product. Finished and painted and ready to go. Here I am demonstrating how to install the speaker into the mount. Fits like a glove, or like it was custom made for it. just a brief rundown of the features. You've got these pivot points right here on either side with a hand adjustable screw that you can tighten it up. You've got these guys here, these rubber feet that um, will clamp the uh, speaker into the bracket without marring the surface. It's got neoprene rubber lined all the way around wherever there's a point of contact. So that's good, it's not gonna scratch the speaker. And then in the back, you've got an adjustable bracket that can go up and down depending on the angle that you need. Then uh, finally, you have the zip ties that just kind of keep it earthquake proof from bouncing in case a uh, earthquake. This has been a fun process, uh, trying to figure out how to make this thing work with all the different um, requirements, restrictions. Um, I'm not an engineer, but I'd like to play one on TV. <laughs> and so this has been a really fun opportunity to flex some creative and, uh, and mechanical and design muscles. I'm really happy with it. I love how it turned out and I think, it's, uh, I think it works really well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that. Uh, also check me out on Instagram at Jeremiah Dawes and uh, I'll see you on the next video.